Hi! What can you do to increase your bookings with Palfish while you wait for your schedule to fill up? Is there anything you can do? Yes, there are many things you can do. But one of the things you can do is live stream classes. What? Live stream classes? Yes, it's okay. It's actually really fun. Even if you feel nervous, use that nervous energy and just have fun. <laughs> My first one, I was very nervous. And you can take a look at that. If you're in the Palfish app, you can look me up. Teacher Christy W on Palfish. But if you want to know, how do I do this? How do I set it up online? And then an example of how to do one. So we'll look at two videos today. The first one will be how to set up your video. And then it's a long one. So the next video will be the actual class that I set up on the Palfish app. So let's go straight into the computer and a video of me setting it up, what buttons to press on the screen, and then you can see the actual finished product. If you're excited to take a look, hit the like button and so you don't miss out on the next video, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you are notified when I upload the actual class. So let's take a look. Here's an on-screen tutorial on how to set up your first live stream class on Palfish. Here's your home screen. On an iPad, the tiles go four across. You need to scroll down to find the green live tab. On a phone, it would just be three tiles across. We click on the green live button here, which is above the home button. And your first line that you'll have there is a practice room. You can go into this room to practice at any time. We can click in there. I've changed the picture so yours may look different. We can enter the classroom. We can change the words here. We can put in pictures to practice. I'll just show you when you enter the classroom. Here I am in my classroom. Hi. We can press start and if there was someone in the office they could help us with any problems that we might have. It gives you a little tutorial. We can touch the whiteboard. We can highlight. Hi, I'm from Australia. Uh, I, you are here in China. So we can practice in the screen in the room here. To close out a picture you would press the, the TV button and this takes you back to the full screen. To exit, we press the X. We're going to confirm to end the class. So we're not going to get an income. Nobody was there. China's asleep right now, so nobody was there. So this is your practice room. You do not schedule the time and date for this one. When you first start, you'll have nothing here. This will be empty. To start a new live, you press the plus button. If you'd like to read, Palfish has how to create a good live and they give you some ideas in here on how to set it up. Click the plus button and they give you some steps that you can follow. Step two, whether it's a single class or a series. Step three, you can test. Here's the old live picture that you should have in yours. And step four, you can create a whiteboard. You can share the link with others and you can type here you can hide student comments. So here's the, the tags for these steps one to four. It gives you a little tutorial. You can add a whiteboard which is just a blank screen. So this will give you some steps that you can follow. I'm going to show you how to fill out and create one today. So if you get stuck and you need more information you can go in here. We go right up to step eight. So there we go. We go into the back button. So to start setting up a new live stream class we click on the plus button. We can see we need a title. You have a minimum, um, sorry, a maximum of 40 characters. A category, you can choose your category. Here are the choices. Today I'm just going to choose maybe basic because I'll be talking about some vocabulary. Uh, the start time, you need to know this ahead of time. A few of these things can be changed later. The only thing that cannot be changed is your time and date. 
if you set the time for something and you're not able to attend you pretty much can't do anything about it you could go back in and put up a picture that says you're not able to attend but there's no delete button at this stage tomorrow I'll be doing this live at 7 a.m. so I'm going to choose that time the duration you can choose from 15 right up to 3 hours I'll just choose 15 minutes you do not need to worry if you go over time if it's a free live class you can go over or under that's fine uh, it doesn't close down after those 15 minutes expire if it's a free class and you don't make it all the way to 15 minutes that's okay to leave early if you were charging a price for your course which I am not because I'm just talking then you would definitely want to be completing the full duration that you've booked so the price is the price for people to enter your class I'm not charging for that if you were charging it's in Yuan some people have IELTS training and specific training that uh, they might want to charge for but remembering that this is a fantastic tool for your promotion for students to see what it's like in your classroom so I never charge for my lives because for me it's just something fun to do and you can charge for people to ask a question uh, I don't do that so I'll just put in zero zero and zero people can come and go in and out of the live as they please the introduction uh, this is where you want to type what it's about I've actually just prepared mine mine's a last minute live so mine's not going to be super fancy uh, when you're new it's best to give as much notice as possible I'm just going to paste that in from my notes so when you are new it's best to give as much notice as possible uh, this would allow you to um, market it through your moments section where you can you know promote it uh, leading up to it you know at least five days three days uh, put one up the day before the morning of right before uh, this is part of your, your free advertising so I've just decided because I had a last minute cancellation to use the time to actually <laughs> show you a tutorial so I hope this is helpful let me know if you have any questions along the way so we've got our introduction I haven't done my title yet uh, what did I do last time? I'm just going to say Teacher Christy Memories. No, I'm going to say. Hmm, what did I say last time? Teacher Christy Memories. I'm just going to do that. Uh, so the title can be changed later. If I think of something more interesting, I might change that tomorrow. You can uh, change the introduction and you can also add the pictures later so let's talk about the pictures section so we, we've done our text here so we're going to move down if you wanted to make a teacher only live I don't know if you can see that on the screen there teacher only you can click that button there I recently did a teacher only live directly on the live Palfish system this time I'm going to actually do a live for anyone to attend and then I will put that up on YouTube for you to see you're welcome to attend so the cover is 750 by 320 pixels so I'm not super fancy with <laughs> photos and things so I just go into my collage maker and I just make um, a, a square that I know I can just grab the top part of the pictures that I want so this will be my banner for the live similar to a YouTube thumbnail so I guess if I was super fancy I would have made one you could probably do one in Canva or uh, pick collage or uh, there's many collage uh, apps you can use on your phone or tablet so I'm going to choose that I've already uh, pre-prepared this so I know that that's going to fit but when I first started what I actually would do was I would make uh, a graphic and I have, sometimes would have to resize it a few times so say I chose um, this one here oh, okay I did choose one back here say I chose see this one over here I wanted to show you see I didn't quite have the sizing right there um, previously so I actually did this one on my phone it actually had a grid this is the iPad it doesn't show a grid so I knew it was going to cut off this word so I was able to redo my graphic and 
find the correct size. So you'll only see a square here, but then once it posts and saves, it will be the full banner size. Uh, the cover picture can be changed at any time. The pictures can also be changed. So I'm not doing a teacher only live, I'm just doing it for anyone to attend. So this is where you would add in pictures that you want to come up on the screen to show during your live. I've decided to just choose 10 pictures that I want to talk about. Uh, we've got two, four, six, seven. Um, where did my other pictures go? Oh, I had two down here I wanted to use. Okay, I've got nine pictures. It gives you the number down the bottom. Can you see that? You can have up to 500 pictures. Missing one. Okay, well that will do for now. I had one. Oh, here we go. The sunset. There we go. All right. So I have ten pictures in there. Now it also gives you the option to long press to reorder. It's a little bit different on a phone, an Android phone. I have an Android phone and an iPad. So let me know if you'd like me to do another one that's on the phone. So here you can hold and press, and then if you wanted to reorder it you could do that. I wanted to talk about uh, this one first so I'm going to reorder these. Uh, oh I have that one in there twice so I'm going to delete that one. To, to delete you press the X button to add more in you press this button here with the plus. So I'm going to go in later and find which one I think I'm missing. Uh, let's put that one. We can go Alright, so you can, you can move them around, you get the idea. So I'll be doing this one tomorrow, so I wanted to make sure in case I don't get time to come back in here, I'm done. So let's check, we've got our title. If you wanted to put emojis in there, you can. It will let you know if, so I'm going to give a wave, so memories, we could put um, a camera picture there. So this is on my iPad, it auto finds pictures for you. Now if this is too long, you can have 40 characters, but for emojis and Chinese text, if you wanted to translate, which is not necessary, uh, when you press create, it will tell you if you have too many characters. Some emojis actually, it's more than one character. So you would just remove an emoji or shorten your title. So teacher Christian memories, I want that to be a capital because it's a title. Okay, Teacher Christine Memories, basic, the start time and date, how long it's going for, I'm not charging, a very short intro, you can have a look through um, previous lives from other people or myself, you're welcome to have a look through when you're in Palfish to get ideas on what to do. We've added in our pictures, I'm not checking this one, available to teachers only, if this is available for everyone, I'm going to press create. Now it's told me here, oh it's 30, I apologise. Title no more than 30 characters. So let's take out one, two, and see if that's enough. No, it's still more than 30. I'll take out the smiley face and see if I have... Okay, please make sure, so my, my title's okay now, gives us a message where before we create, please make sure all the information that you entered is correct. I think it used to say you cannot change anything, but you definitely cannot change the date and time and the duration. So I'm pretty sure everything else you can change. So let's press create. I'm ready to go with mine. I'll show you where that comes up now. So it's going to upload the pictures. 10 will be including my cover photo. So once that's finished uploading, I'll show you where that turns up in your appointments page. 8, 9, 10. Now before we do that, when it finishes uploading and saves it, it will pop up a share screen for you. This is a like an invitation. You can send it to your students, either this is a WeChat moments on WeChat, on Weibo, or through the Palfish app itself. Now before I click this, because I will share it, I'm actually going to do a screenshot of this because what I do is then I take a copy of that and I will actually 
make that into a graphic that I'll add into my moments section to send to the students. So I'm going to share this in the Palfish app. When I click on that, this will give me all the groups that I want to share with. Now on the iPad, it's limited. You can only choose one at a time. I usually prepare these on my Android phone because it gives you a multi button up here and you can choose multi. So I'm just going to send it to, I have a student group that I made. So Christy's crew, I'm going to click that. That will go pop up in my students group. I'll send a message, see you to not see you in the class and I'm going to I'm going to tag all my students so they will know when you add something in a group it doesn't automatically notify everyone you'll see that in your teacher groups so I'm going to X out of here to go back you could take a screenshot here if you wanted to if you want to invite more people press the palfish button in the past it used to automatically send to every person that is currently following you that has currently been removed so we don't have that option let's press the X button now we can see that this is my next live that will be happening tomorrow so like we talked about the cover uh, picture uh, it gives me the the time and the date tomorrow this is my time I forgot to tell you that this is on your local time uh, we can see here it's put the title of the live and currently no one's enrolled everybody's asleep in China so when I go back in tomorrow uh, it will show me if anyone has enrolled uh, in the past because it used to be sent to everyone who follows you you would immediately get a few people enroll because teachers are awake in my time zone and they would enroll so let's go back to our home screen so here are the lives here now I have 20 in my list so when it's time to attend the live you would enter through your live tab and you would enter this way now before it starts do not enter here when you press enter you're live you're on camera it is recording you if you want to practice you must go in through the practice room. Remember we said we can go in here. You could add in your pictures here if you wanted to. Let's do that as a, as a test. So this is my test room. The three dots at the top is where you would click on to edit. So I'm going to edit. This is, I'm just going to say test classroom just to show that I can change things. So these are the things that shows you what is available for you to change. So we can change the title, we can change the category, we can change the question price, we can change the intro text here, we can change the cover, you would just click on that and add another one if you want to, and we can add or remove or reorder the pictures from here. If we press on this one, let's just do this as a test, I'm going to put the picture of my other live in there. I'm going to press done. This will show us now it'll upload these pictures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is the practice room. Now when we enter, again, this is the practice room. It's not yet recording. Okay, you can see me, but it's not yet recording. Uh, when you press the start button, you are live. So this is the practice room. It's not going to matter. But this will at least let you um, get yourself situated, you know where you are in the camera, am I centered, is my lighting good, before you press the start button. And once you're ready to enter, press start, take a deep breath, and press start. And yes, it is nerve-wracking, it's okay, it's nerve-wracking the first time, but it's okay. Just take it all in, try your best, and you'll get better each one you do. So I'm not going to enter this time. Uh, well, I will enter. I want to show you something. When you first enter, it shows that you've entered uh, and it will show a message to anyone who enters the room. We advocate for appropriate behavior during the live. If there's any improper abusive behavior during the live, your account may be banned. So this obviously is still a learning platform. You want to keep it kid friendly 
and family friendly. Um, you don't need to wear an official blue shirt during a live. This is a free class. Um, you don't have to do it in your classroom. I've walked around the garden, so this gives you some ideas of what you can do. If you have any other questions, let me know. So let's exit here. Oh, before we go, when you're in the live and you're actually in there live, when you press on the people button up here, this will tell you how many people are in the classroom now. I'm the host, so it's not going to count me as online. But when you do your lives, uh, someone from Palfish will actually enter as well. They will be there just to keep an eye on things, so you'll always see one there. They may not interact with the class, they may not type messages, but they are in there. Occasionally a student or even Palfish may give you a, a gift. It's like a little donation to say thank you for your class and you'll see that pop up here in your notice section in your chats. Now we can also, when we're in here, the, this is the chat box. If I wanted to chat and say hello to everyone, hello, when I press send, because I'm the host, well this here it says anchor, it's going to fly across the screen. Now if this was in the way and I didn't want to see those, press the three dots and you can hide your chats so you can just concentrate on what's on the screen. Then you can uh, put your chats back on again when you want to answer questions. You can also share in the middle of your live. You can actually still be on camera. You can go and share that to people in your list, in your Palfish list. If you wanted to do that, it will pop up with your with your uh, list and you can choose anyone that's currently in your messages list. Okay, so this is where you would turn the camera around, which right now it's just going to show you my background over here. I'm filming in my, uh, in my fifth wheel trailer. And this one is where you would open up a picture. This is a little TV button, click on that one and you can choose any of the pictures that were loaded previously in your live. Now if you ever go in here, there you go, pop that one up. If you ever go in here and you can't find your pictures, uh, it's best to always keep them on your local drive. If you set this up on your phone and then you want to do the live on your iPad, you may not have these saved on that other device. And if something happens to go wrong, it's good to keep them in your local file because if you think of something else you want to add in or that you get in there and there's, you don't know where to find them, you can go into your local file and look, here's the pictures. I've kept them on there just in case I wanted them. Uh, you can also click on the whiteboard if you wanted to uh, talk something about pronunciation. Uh, say you wanted to talk about, well, here's this, the... Um, mm, sweeping broom there's a word for that it's not coming to me right now <laughs> this will clean the board for you I teach my students to say clean the board teacher so we could say I am I'm now see how these uh, chats are in my way let's hide the chats I am I'm now when you're in a live you only have one color pen it's not the same in, in an official class. In an official class, you have all the different colors. In the live stream class, you just have red. That's the only color you have. And when you're in a free talk lesson, just as a side note, you also only have red, but the student can draw in blue. So you'll see where the student will draw on the screen. Doesn't work for me. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. There's a funny face. So. Um, we can clean the board there. We can zoom in if we're looking at a picture. We can zoom in and zoom out just like we would in a classroom. Q and A is if someone sent you a message, a question. Uh, I don't know that I've ever had that yet, but that was that other section where there was two prices you could put in. One was the price to enter your live, and one was the price for questions. So that's where those would pop up. So if we're finished with the whiteboard and you want your screen back to be the full size, we click on the TV icon again and there you go. So chats, what was I going to tell you about that? You can, so you can type, students can type and then you can reply to students in the chat. You can both chat at the same time. 
uh, and we can hide. So when we've, we've looked at all the functions on the screen here, we're going to X out of there. We want to confirm to end this class. And like I said, if you do less than the time that you've allotted and it's a free class, that's okay. Sometimes people will send you a donation. When you finish your live, this will come up. And if someone had given you a donation, it would be here. Uh, it does say there, you will receive your payment in your Palfish wallet within 24 hours. Uh, might take a couple of days from memory. So um, you'll see that pop up in your wallet as well. So that is an example of how you can edit a classroom uh, after you've set that up. So let's go back. We were talking about how where to find it on your home screen. Here's our home screen. Tomorrow it's my appointment. It's actually in my appointments tab. So here are, here's an actual class I have first. Then I'm going to do my live class. And then I have another official class. So you, you can enter from this way. Uh, I've heard that there's problems with that. I don't know why it's like that. So I never enter from that one. It, it is possible to enter that way. Uh, but it is recommended to enter through your live tab. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. This is a free tool that you have to market yourself, to show what your classroom is like. When I mentioned about how you can use your moments to advertise, so let's go into our moments section. Uh, I probably haven't done one in a little while to show you an example of where I advertised. I did do one recently talking about the sunset, and wouldn't you know it, uh, the sunrise, I apologize. So I wanted to do a live class about the sunrise and of course Murphy's Law. It rained that day. Here we go. It rained that day, so I had put pictures in the live just in case it was raining. Uh, so we talked about the sunrise and the sunset, and we said hello to the cat where I was staying at the time. So this is that purple, uh, let's go in there, we can open that up. This is the purple screen that I took a picture of, the invitation. I actually cropped it on my uh, collage app because if you look on an Android, and you look at other people's pictures, they kind of look squished, they look stretched this way. If you upload a, a portrait long picture, uh, it actually mainly sees a square, so it's going to stretch it out to be a square. So that's just a little side note. So you can put up a little, hey, I'm having a live, come and say hi. Uh, I can do that now actually. And that would be a new way to be able to get people coming to your live. Now, I obviously haven't cropped that to be square yet. But let's put up a picture. Let's do this one. <laughs> I cropped out a picture of my belly because I was almost ready to give birth to Danny at that time. And I thought it would be funny to have a picture in front of the termite mound with my big belly. <laughs> uh, here we go. Uh, I can finish this later. You can also edit your um, moments as well. So I might add in another picture later. So I could uh, still have it in. I think I still have it in there. Yes. Oh, Teacher Christy Memory. So we could go over to my notes over here. You can put whatever you want there. I'll just copy this, I might change it later. Go back over to Powerfish, paste that in. So I could say, join me for a free class to talk about teacher Christy Mary to talk about my memories. Let's see, that sounds a little bit more native. <laughs> to talk about my memories, about my son, animals, and travel. Take that out. You can ask a question or tell me a story of a similar memory. So one live I did, a student actually sent a picture so it popped up in class and I was able to open it on the screen, take a picture of it, 
uh, and put it on the screen also so at the end of class I actually added it to the pictures join me for a free class at now let's put this in Beijing time it'll be so that'll be 8 p.m. Beijing time. 8 p.m. Beijing time. Okay. See you there. Alright, so let's post that. That will now come up in the moments section. It's going to upload the three pictures. Now here's an example I want to show you. Uh, I'm going to send this to my crew referrals and let them know I'm doing it. Go out of there. So this is my moments section but if we now go to the public moments section which you press down the bottom look at that I'm now in the recommended tab uh, join me for a free class tomorrow. So other teachers might see that and they might choose to go in and attend my live and I've sent that to my student group and some of those students might be able to attend. Now the best thing about lives is it's free for you, it doesn't cost you anything, it's free advertising, but the best part is I leave mine all to replay. So students can come and have a look at a live later on. So I did one teacher only live for learning about lives with Christy, so I've had 85 teachers uh, hop in to have a look at that. I didn't have 85 on the day, some of those are have gone in afterwards. Now probably my highest attended live I think was okay I, I baked chocolate brownies I had 71 so some came at the time and some came after so this one here I think was my most attended see my garden I walked around my garden I had students join me at the time and then people have come in later to watch the replay and I still uh, have new students coming from those previous classes that I did. You're welcome to go in and feel nervous with me <laughs> when I did my first live. So this one here, Reading with Christy. I read a book, I read another book, uh, I read a book about Australian animals and then I got bored with reading books. So to me that's quite boring. The students can read a book anywhere, do something interesting, exciting, colourful, fun, sing, do anything. So I did a get to know me. I was targeting more older students and uh, free talk at that time. And I did, I sang, you can come and cringe as I sing the <laughs> colours of the rainbow. And then I actually decided to do a series. I did a three part series. Um, something that Chinese speakers struggle with is the verb tenses. So I did travel talk part one, where are you going? Um, how to ask, you know, where did you travel? So before, after, and then I had one that I hosted where come and tell me your stories and students actually sent me pictures ahead of time and we shared those in class. So hopefully that gives you some ideas on what you can do. You could do a pronunciation class, craft, the pronunciation that wasn't very exciting. So of course I'm not going to have many people attend that one. But um, the best time to do a live is, of course, in peak times when um, the students are awake and ready to be in a class. So I hope this was helpful to show you how to do things on the screen. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend who you think it could be helpful for, and send me a message and say hi. Remember to click subscribe and the bell to be notified when the next video goes live. Thanks for spending time with me today. See you in the next video.